There was a great rabbi in recent Jewish history. He was called the Chazanish. He emigrated from Europe to B'nai Brak, Israel in the early 1950s. His wisdom was world-renowned. People from all over the world came to seek his advice. The local police in B'nai Brak, out of frustration, erected the first street lamp right in front of the Chazanish's home in order to make it easier for the people to locate him. One day, on the way home from the synagogue, the Chazanish and his students were walking, and suddenly he stopped abruptly in front of the street lamp. He walked towards it, and then he walked away from it, towards it, and then away from it. His students began to worry. Rebbe, are you all right? He explained to them, when I come closer to the street lamp, my shadow becomes smaller and smaller and eventually disappears. When I move away from the street lamp, my shadow grows and grows. So too with Hashem. The closer we get to Hashem, the smaller our ego. The more we realize how great Hashem is, how wonderful His kindness. The further away we get from Hashem and the Torah's ways, the bigger our ego gets. Moshe Rabbeinu was referred to in the Torah as the greatest Navi ever to have lived or that ever will live, the greatest prophet. He was also described, he spoke to Hashem face to face, panim al panim. He was also described as the greatest anav, the most modest person ever to have lived. Aaron and his brother was known as the greatest peacemaker in the Jewish nation. Moshe refused to take over leadership from his brother until Hashem promised him that Aaron, his older brother, would be the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, and he would give the priestly blessing to the nation of Israel. Now we come to this week's Parsha, Parsha Shmini. Moshe and the Jews were constructing the Mishkan every day for seven days. Each day they built the Mishkan and they waited for Hashem's presence to descend upon them. And each day they were disappointed Hashem did not appear. The Jews thought it was because of their sin of the golden calf, the Cheta Egel. They thought they had not been forgiven. Moshe consoled them. He told them, when Aaron brings the Karban, Hashem's presence will dwell among us. He is greater than I. On the inauguration day, the eighth day, Aaron Cohen went into the Mishkan and brought the Karban. He prayed to Hashem, and yet still Hashem's presence did not rest among them. Until Moshe came in and prayed with his brother, and then the Holy Shechina, the presence of Hashem, came to rest in the Mishkan. Rabbi Chaim Mintz, our Rebbe, and the founder of Ura, in his new Sefer, explains the Rashi on this point. When Hashem saw that Moshe and Aaron and the Jewish people were unified and respectful of one another, they saw the good in each other and came together in Shalom, that is when Hashem's holy presence rested among them. The lesson we learn from the Chazanisha story of the lamppost is that when Hashem sees His children take our ego out of it and love each other and build each other up, then Hashem's presence will rest among us and He will bring the final redemption speedily and in our days. Thank you so much. Good Shabbos.